And here's the thing, mushrooms aren't giving me that peace, giving me the awareness that I already have this peace within myself. Peace everybody, I'm Native So welcome to my channel if you are new. If you are not new, hey tribe, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> so the good news is, well there's a lot of good news, but for starters, I got up today with 1,000 subscribers! Woo! And I'm really excited about that, so I just wanna say thank you for all the support. Those who have been watching my videos, those who have been sharing my videos, commenting and interacting with me, even through Instagram and DMing me. I'm receiving so much love and I'm so glad that I can give it back. So I appreciate you all. Seriously, thank you so much. I never thought that I would be that girl on YouTube that talks about in vlogs her mushroom experiences but that's okay I mean hey so today's a microdose day last year I was pretty consistent with microdosing but then I got really good you know I just was better all around like every area of my life and then I was like eh, maybe I don't need it anymore so then I stopped and here's the thing about microdosing mushrooms. So when I say mushrooms, I'm not talking about the ones that you see in your local grocery store. So if you are under the age of 18, I'm gonna have to ask you to click off of this video seriously because this is for educational purposes only, but I wanna make sure that I am being aware of my audience. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, with mushrooms, microdosing is very interesting because mushrooms in general rewire your brain in a positive way. So if someone is dealing with certain mental health issues or disorders such as obsessive compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, in specific anxiety disorders. Microdosing psilocybin is actually a good way to heal. <laughs> I don't know if this is a surprise, but the pharmaceutical industry does not heal people, okay? Let's just, let's just get that out of the way and say that right now. What pharmaceutical drugs do is mask symptoms. They do not look at the root issue. So what mushrooms do, they go and they target specifically the imbalances in the brain and they rewire the brain with new neural connections. Isn't that awesome? One second, I don't know why my face feels ashy. I need to get some rose water. One second. How my face gonna feel like this? I got the rose water, everybody. Just relax, everyone, calm down. Oh, that always somehow surprises me how that feels. Oh, that smells so good. It's like I jumped in an ocean of roses. Yeah, I forgot that that was microdose tea. Like, <laughs> this ain't a tea party. It's not like sip, sip, um, fancy, pinkies up. It's like, no, this is medicine and I need to like take it at once. All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. <clears throat> new neural connections are formed and your brain is being rewired in the most positive way possible. Another thing that I found interesting about psilocybin and microdosing is that along with going to the root of the problem, it will sometimes even reveal things that you might have suppressed, things that you might have pushed away or hidden and even forgotten about, honestly, because we, are busy with our lives and some of us stay busy in order to avoid feeling certain emotions but the thing is you all uh, you can't run away from yourself you can't run away from your emotions everything that you feel 
and you suppress, you will end up paying the cost, whether that is through a breakdown later or you feel you start to see certain symptoms arise physically, also known as psychosomatic symptoms, that are basically emotions that manifest into the physical realm. And you feel it in your body, and those are the signs that you have more of a challenging time ignoring. Because it's like, uh, don't forget about me. Hey, like, you still didn't process or even acknowledge me yet so I'm telling you that I'm still here and you have to deal with it and go through it and work through it so you can be a healthier being in reaching optimal health so really everything that happens is for our good I believe in the long run because it's a lesson even if we do have to go through that pain and a little bit of suffering bringing it back to microdosing sometimes emotions come up or a situation might come up that you remember all of a sudden and it's best that you deal with that on the spot because mushrooms they are a teacher and they will show you how to deal and process with certain things that school or maybe your parents didn't teach you <laughs> because the school system also is another form of suppressing our capabilities and our even our emotional abilities because it's an institution to institutionalize us and a part of being institutionalized by the system is is ignoring the intuitive side of who you are, the magical side, the emotional beings that we are, because it's all about getting work done. In fact, <laughs> Woodrow Wilson was the main guy who actually made school <clears throat> mandatory, and he made it so that it is focused more on shaping people for the industrial world doing basic tasks without asking questions. <laughs> when you talk about psilocybin mushrooms and even your emotions too, like, you know, separately, they're so taboo. It's like everybody cries, everybody gets upset, everybody feels happy. So why not normalize talking about emotions and normalize even the processing of our emotions? I feel like humanity will just be better off and more stable, including the planet, if we start to learn how to regulate our emotions and acknowledge them with or without mushrooms. I just know that mushrooms are a really good teacher to show us how to do that and to make sure that we aren't getting stuck and having this stagnant energy build up in our physical and our energetic bodies, our spiritual bodies, so we won't feel tension which causes suffering. And we're just talking about mushrooms. It's so taboo to talk about it, but here's the thing. Do you even know why it's taboo? Psilocybin mushrooms are taboo only because of the government. Because before the DEA scheduled psilocybin as a schedule one drug, meaning that it has no medicinal properties and is high for abuse, Really think about that, okay? Because <laughs> research shows that mushrooms actually help people medically. <laughs> it helps people spiritually. It helps people heal from trauma and heal from so many different mental disorders. And, and it really gets to the root of things, unlike pharmaceuticals that cover up and numb people, right? And then secondly, to break that, the other myth of it being like high on the list for abuse, mushrooms actually break addiction. It goes to the root of why somebody might be addicted to something and it, it rewires your brain literally and it breaks addictions when it comes to hard drugs, even alcoholism especially or even being addicted to negative emotions because Dr. Joe Dispenza also mentions in his book, Becoming Supernatural, which I've mentioned on this channel multiple times. I love that book. I promise you I'm like one of his disciples. He doesn't know yet. Dr. Joe Dispenza mentions how negative emotions can be addictive because they release a certain chemical that people get hooked on and then they're constantly moving throughout their day-to-day -day schedule and they get stuck in a cycle that is hard to break. 
And one thing about mushrooms is that it breaks a loop. And I and I did mention this in a different video on this channel. It's really about breaking generational curses. And that's why I'm such a big advocate for decriminalization of psilocybin mushrooms. They grow from the ground. You literally cannot be addicted. Like, you can't be addicted. It's just taboo, but like, indigenous people to all continents actually were the ones using the mushrooms in order to heal and they were using it ceremonially like mushrooms are very sacred and i obviously say that a lot and it's true anybody who has experienced psilocybin mushrooms they will also attest to the same like that's why they're called magic because they really do wonders in the human brain and they allow us to evolve quickly. But I am in a place where it is decriminalized now, which I'm really happy and excited about. Nevertheless, I do encourage you to do more research on microdosing and seeing if that's good for you. Something that I do when I'm consistently microdosing is taking it one day and then off two days. So it's on, off, off, on, off, off, and so forth. Because mushrooms are so powerful that even just a little bit will go a long way. You don't need to be doing this every day, which is also really cool about mushrooms. I just want to really, really emphasize how important and special this earth gift is to us. Um, and it can really help humankind. And that's what like my my work in grad school will be focused on is, is yeah, I'll just keep it at that. <laughs> Over time, honestly, what have I noticed while microdosing is a sense of inner peace. And here's the thing, mushrooms aren't giving me that peace. It is giving me the awareness that I already have this peace within myself. This big reservoir of peace is inside of all of us. I've also noticed myself more focused and less in the clouds. Well, as for me in my life, and I'll speak from my account only, mushrooms are very grounding and it's like a sense of super focused, like you are super present. You're able to get things done. Like I know that with the mental things that I'm healing from, such as like ADHD, as well as obsessive compulsive disorder, mushrooms actually help heal those things. It just allows me to be more present, even when I'm not on them, which is the beauty about mushrooms. The lasting effect, they really help. Yeah, and they just also bring an overall heightened awareness which means like you're tapping more into like your higher chakras. Like it's weird because you feel grounded in who you are and I think that's why it allows you to be stabilized in the lower chakras, especially if you have emotions coming up and you're dealing with them, like you're then stabilizing and opening up those lower energy centers, which allows you to go through the heart and then to the higher chakras. And you're tapping in and, and channeling more of your higher self so you are being more aware and in tune with your emotions and your thoughts and knowing that they're just thoughts and emotions. Like, they're not who you are. They're things that you're experiencing in this human experience. Yeah. So if you want more information about how psilocybin mushrooms can help, do your research. It's really cool and fascinating. And you know what gets me? Here's the thing. They've been saying that we have to do more research on mushrooms and we need to see what they do and stuff and the long-term effects. Okay, that's great. But at the same time, they're so quick to create something in a lab and release it for the whole world to take. This is the first gene therapy thing that they're putting out like this. They don't know any long-term effects yet. They want everybody and their children to have it. <laughs> Meanwhile, mushrooms that have been here for millions of years and have helped so many generations of people. They help on so many, so many levels, yet we need to do more research. Yeah, I call that bull It's really backwards, right? Really sketchy too. And control and money, <laughs> that's what it is. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this educational video. Thank you again for the 1,000 subs. For those who are new and you vibe 
with this video or vibe with me, subscribe to join the tribe. There's always room for more great souls like you. And I'm just sending love and peace your way. And also remember to share this video if you learned anything and you want someone else to know about it. It's really, really helpful to spread awareness about the wonders of psilocybin mushrooms because the more people that know, the more people can be able to heal themselves instead of feeding into the system of the pharmaceutical company that only wants your money and it's not focused on your true deep visceral healing at a soul level. Healing is true, healing is real, healing is possible. And remember, you are more powerful and divine than you realize. Peace and I'll see you next week. Love you.